over the last couple of days, I've seen a few things online with people using like AI generators to make like 3D depth maps and things like that for laser engraving. And it got me wondering if I could use AI to basically make these type of designs. So I've done a video on how I make these before, like the simplest way I can do it without using AI or having to draw it by hand. But today I've actually stumbled on an easier way of how to make these types of designs. So as you can see, I've got a few different photos here. Well, they're not photos. They're, they're from photos, but they are vector, the vector line drawings, basically. Now I haven't drawn these by hand. I have found a website where I can create this with literally one click. It is so simple to do, but then I've also incorporated other things where you can add a bit more detail. So not only have I got the outline, I've also got, you know, these darker bits where I've added. It's a very, very simple process. I've done all this using free software. Well, I will be using Photoshop, but if you've seen my videos before, you'll know I use a free alternative called Photop, which is pretty much Photoshop just online you can use in your web browser. Again, completely free. Okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. So yeah, it works with animals, it works with people, you know, it's very, like I said, very simple to do. And you can generate this with just one click, but we'll go into a little bit more detail and we'll show you how we can add a bit more detail. Okay, so this website I found, it is called vectordad.com. It was created by uh, this gentleman here, and it's a tool called Photo to Outline. I'll put a link down in the description. Okay, so once you've got your photo you're gonna do this with and you're happy with, just go to vectordad.com, browse image, and let's go Connor McGregor, and it'll automatically go to Vector once you've done it. And there we go, that is it. Like I said, it's one click, that is all you need to do. But you can mess around with like the sliders and stuff over here. Like default is good, but you can change the thickness of the line. You'll lose detail, but you get a thicker line. But uh, let's go about there. So details, again, you can bring that down and you're gonna have as many details in there as you like. But we'll go about there. So I've got some details of the nose, the eyes, his beard, tattoo, and his hair. Uh, and then clean, if you take it all the way down, you'll get lots of little, uh, little splodges here and there. I don't like them personally, so I will bring it up. If you notice, there's a couple up here. What about there? Yeah, I found sometimes it does like just fill in dark bits. So we'll take it about here. I'm happy with that. So you can just download the SVG, download JPEG or whatever you want to do. But I just download the SVG and then I'll go over to Inkscape and I will import it, which will give me this. So once you've gotten to Inkscape, just press Control and I, and obviously you can just import your vector and it'll give you this. But you'll notice here, I've got these darker details, which just make it pop a little bit more. I'll show you how to get these extra darker details to put on there now. So in Photoshop or Photo P, get your photo up and convert it to black and white. That's the first thing you wanna do, or black and gray. So image, adjustments, black and white. I'm happy with that. Back to image again, adjustments. And there's a couple of different things here you can mess with. I usually just go to levels. And what I'll try and do, the brightest areas, I'll try and make them as white as possible. Any extra shadows, I'll try and get rid of as many of them as possible. And then like the dark areas, I'll try and make them as black as possible. So you'll notice if we bring this down and the whites will become whiter. Bring this up and the darks will become darker. And you'll see these shadows all around his chest there. I'm trying to get rid of them. And we're gonna go okay. Now well, this could do. If you hold control and click the photo, it'll select the outline. Control and C to copy. You can go over to Inkscape and then you can paste it in there and then you can trace it there. But what I like to do in Photoshop is go to Image, Adjustments, Threshold. It's a bit more vectorized, if, if that's the right term, but it's just black and white. There's no, there's no shadows in there. So we'll go about there. And again, with it selected, I'll Control C and then over into Inkscape, I'll Control V and paste it. With the trace bitmap, I'm happy just with the default. I'll go apply and I'll just delete the original one. The hard bit here is just trying to get it to scale and match. I say it's not hard at all. It's probably the most time consuming bit. Just get bits to line up and I'll get that to line up with the glove. 
bring that down. I'm just matching the hairline up as best as I can. Okay, that's good. Happy with that. We bring, get rid of this originally. And if we look at this tattoo there, I want to remove some of that. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I think the shadow under his neck, if you go back into Photoshop and we have a look at the shadow, obviously it's just going to convert it to one dark bit. So I want to get rid of that and just use the details from the outline. So you can go into point mode, select the points and delete them. Sometimes it can be easier, but a majority of the time it's just going to hinder you and make it a little bit harder. So what I like to do, just go into the pen tool and we're just going to draw a shape roughly around his chin. Um, we'll take all of his tattoo out actually and this bit of shadow under his chest. I'm going to take all of that and just draw a shape around it. With that selected, hold shift, select the bit you want to remove, path, difference, and there you go, it's just deleted it. So basically this shape I've drawn, if I put a fill color on it and take the stroke off, you can see a bit better what I'm talking about. So I've drawn this shape and I want this just to remove whatever's underneath it. So with that selected, hold shift, select that path, difference. It's removed it. So if we bring that corner line work back into place, you can you see we've got a bit more line work here with a lot less shadow. Um, we can probably line this bit up with, the, with his arm is with the tattoos a bit better. But what I can do is I like this dark part, but then where the tattoo is, I'm going to remove that. Oh, Got to be you know that neat with this. Bring that back into place, which is about there. Happy with that. So whatever this little bit is underneath his eye, I want to get rid of that and these little bits in the hair. So again, we'll move the lines out the way. And with these selected now, I'm going to use the, the node selection tool. And I can just select these and delete these. And we'll delete that. Eyes, I say the eyes probably look better on the line work. So we'll delete the eyes and the nose. I want to remove this, whatever that is there. So again, I'm just going to get the pen tool and I can just draw it around that and then go path difference. Line them back up. And we'll look at the glove down here. Just look for the best reference point to line it up. And about there. There we go. I am happy with that. All right, so there we go. It is that simple. But like I said, if you just wanted to use this for the outline and just use the lines, again, the details on it, it just it, it looks good. Again, with the if we do it with the dog, you can mess around with the sliders, try and get as much detail in there as you want. Sometimes I find the less detail you do with the line work. So say about there, the better, because you can do again, the same thing in Photoshop. And then you can have certain parts, you know, just completely dark. And then I've got the outline there. So if you have a look at that, that is like not much detail in regards to the line work, but then we've got this part, which we did in Photoshop with the same way we just did the McGregor, just to get those extra bit of details. I did the exact same thing with good old Tony Hawk and uh, Daniel Radcliffe. So yeah, so yeah, there we go, guys. I thought I'd share this with you today because I can do a lot of stuff with this myself and it's going to save me a lot of time when I've had to do stuff by hand.